camera bag, steady cam, tripod, spare GoPro, selfie stick, camera bag with loads of crap, definitely gonna need, yeah, that's it. Oh. Outside, thank God for that. I was getting cabin fever to be honest with you. I don't like being cooped up over Christmas, not very nice. So, we're back outside. Behind me is my son's Mark II Golf. Uh, you may remember this from a KV Wax video I did because anybody that's gonna straight away they're gonna ask, hang on, how long is that had protection on for? Well, the answer is around about three months. We had the KV Wax on, it's been through salt, grime, and all sorts of crap. It's still holding its own. I'm not going to strip the car completely, and I, I know a lot of people are going to put in the comments, you know, you should have clayed it, Paul, you should have decontaminated it. Believe you me, we are under a lot of time constraints. The days are short, so this is purely a review on the actual product itself. Of course, it's going to bead. It's a beading product, but there's two products I'm actually going to test today. Uh, quite interesting. This is a new company called Gleam Freaks. Now, I got sent this uh, some time ago. Cheers guys. Uh, Gleam Freaks are based in Swansea. They're relatively new. They were formed in 2016. Uh, now, these products, you may have used similar products. If you have, please leave a comment below. I will now introduce you to the products. Now, this is PolySeal 12 uh, PTFE. This is their um, sealant, obviously liquid-based sealant, uh, not a spray one. Uh, you can apply this with your applicator pad. Um, I spoke to the guys about this. Um, I know Tranquility Based Detail and Luke has tested it. Um, I'll go through all the longevity, you know, that sort of stuff in a minute. I'm ho hoping to use this on the bonnet, the roof, and probably the tailgate um, for reasons I will discuss in a moment. The other one is this one. Uh, this is Pure Flexion. This is a T1 Brazilian wax based product, another liquid one. Um, this has also been up for review with um, Luke, of course, on Tranquility Based Detail. Um, you can see his review, obviously. I'll put a link in that under the video. Um, I'm going to use this on the rest of the car. Um, I'd be interested to see. The reason I'm going to do this, a lot of people say sealants give off a different sort of look to a wax. And I'm kind of, I want to get a judge for myself. So I'm going to do, as I said, I'm going to do the sealant on the top parts of the car. And I'm going to do the wax on the lower parts of the doors and the lower parts. Just to see what it looks like. Okay. So back to these products. So we all know that sealants last uh, a long time. Uh, a lot of guys have been using their favourite sealants for, for years and they won't go to anything else, you know, and uh, these are a new company, as I say, so you, you might want to change and, and have a look at this. Uh, this can last 8 to 12 months 
um, after speaking to the manufacturers about this, depending on weather conditions, you know, depending on where you live, you know, if you live up the top end of the country and you get a lot more snow and grit and salt on the roads, then, you know, it might be reduced somewhat. Down in the south where we are, we do get crappy weather, but not as, quite as bad as you get up north. Uh, now the wax. This apparently uh, up to four months for the wax. You know, uh, let's just go through my data. Uh, yeah, around four months. Um, obviously, again, weather dependent. Um, be interesting to see how long this beads for. As I said, I had KV wax on this before. Uh, there is certain areas on the car where it's just starting to break down those beads. They're not quite so pronounced as they were, but believe you me, that has lasted a long time. Three months, not too bad at all. You know, as I said, this time of year, salt on the roads, Essex roads and all that, and the grime that you've seen by the video in the beginning, the state of this golf is minging. Not been done for a long, long time. Utterly ashamed. I don't even own it. I should be having to go at him. Lazy git. Anyway, on with these products, on with a wash. Let's crack on. So once again, we can see the uh, importance of pre-washing. A citrus-based pre-wash has been applied, Valet Pro Citrus. There are many other products out there you can use. You can just see the, well, it's not really a 50-50. Uh, mucky, better. Ready for the two bucket wash. Okay, a little while ago somebody asked me on the internet uh, about doing a video about showing the whole process about getting all your equipment together. We're not going to do that today, but I'm just going to show you a little, a little tip for all you newbies out there. These are grit guards. You've all seen these before on the internet. Uh, basically, you put your hand in the bucket. This is the wash bucket. Uh, all the debris that comes off your mitt, uh, whatever you're using, will filter through the grit down here and go into the bottom of the bucket. Uh, regards preparation the last wash this was all black in the bottom took the guard out rinsed the guard through and rinsed the bucket and also make sure you're using a clean mitt vex philosophy mitt this is the mohican their hybrid mitt looks like a muppet i know very good and today we are using details passion this is the one without the wax so there's no cheating this is just their um, ph neutral shampoo see the car's been washed and dried two bucket wash uh, using the details passion shampoo nice lathery uh, shampoo for this car also did a pre-wash with a valid pro citrus pre-wash so we're going to use the sealant obviously the man-made sealant on the bonnet and the roof and the tailgate uh, reasons for that is uh, the majority of the muck and the horrible grime tends to hit the top parts of the car. I know you get all this muck underneath and I appreciate all you guys underneath you're going to comment that's not true Paul but if I know this car sits about quite a bit it doesn't do a lot of miles so to protect it from bird etchings and crap and all the rest of it I want to do the top surfaces and then the glossy one or the extra glossy one the pure uh, pure flexion on the wings doors and all the last you know fiddly bits if you know what I mean. So I'm going to go ahead use my applicator pad and put some on the roof, bonnet, tailgate, buff it off, we'll have a look, and then we'll go ahead and do the rest of the car with the wax.
Fuck him. So the sealant now's had around 10 minutes. Uh, maybe could do with a little bit longer as it's quite a chilly day. Uh, seems to be coming off with fairly minimal effort. Not too much drag. No white residue, no marks on the rubbers, which is always a good thing. So we're gonna buff off the rest of this roof, buff the bonnet off, and then we're gonna treat this all through here with a wax, and then we'll see what it looks like. So now it's time for the wax. This is a pure um, flexion. Uh, eight to 12 months for the actual sealant, so that was the, the top part. Uh, and around four months, depending on weather conditions for the wax. This is the T1 Brazilian liquid wax. Uh, give it a quick shake. Uh, Wo mitt. Details Passion One was used for the other one. And some dots. So it seems to go on very well. As you'd expect, as a liquid. Curing time, I think I'm gonna give this sort of 10 minutes. And then we're gonna buff it off and see what it looks like. Right, before I show you the uh, really glossy golf behind me, uh, not bad considering the age of this car. Uh, yeah, this is a daily, by the way. This is my son's Harvey's. Um, we treated the roof, obviously, to a sealant. Uh, I believe they last uh, obviously a lot longer, as I said, in the duration of this, you know, these products, you've got up to 12 months, eight to 12 months for the sealant, providing weather conditions, you know, prevailing, if you know what I mean. And also the wax, uh, up to four months, which is pretty good for a wax. Uh, the KV wax was still protecting after three months, but the beads were just starting to go, but we have had some pretty nasty weather, so hence me not really stripping the car and just reapplying these products, or applying the products, new products, should I say. Uh, so I'll put a link uh, to these products on this video underneath, as always, with the social media links. Uh, a quick word about this channel. Um, although we started in 2010 with a, a concert video shot really badly on a mobile phone, uh, the account lay dormant. So people might be wondering, thinking, well, there's not that many subscribers because he's been going since 2010. We didn't actually start uploading videos uh, till around 10 months ago. So I really appreciate all the subscribers as always. Uh, don't forget, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and I'll put everything underneath the video, all the social media links. Uh, you can get me on Twitter, Instagram, detailing for newbies, and of course my page. And I'll put the link to the website to these, these guys. Give them a follow because they need that support. They're a new firm, as I said, started in 2016. They're from Swansea, so they're British. Um, and it'll, I'll really appreciate it. And also, have a look on uh, Tranquility Based Detailing, uh, Luke's channel, because he's done a good review on this as well. So, enjoy the rest of this video. I'll leave you some really good shots of the golf. And I'll see you on the next video. Tatty bye.